Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number 18. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, go to my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download this workbook, Business Math Chapter 2. If you're in the class, just go to our Chapter 2 website. Hey, in this um, video, we need to see how to express decimals as fractions and fractions as decimal. Let's go to our, over to our PDFs and start here. Express 0.875 as a common fraction. Well, there's a few ways we can do this. Uh, here, here it is. Um, and we can divide any number by um, 1 and still get the same number. So we'll start that way, right there. And then we can si slim simply with division, as we saw last chapter, we can slide the decimal as long as we slide it in the top and the bottom. So we slide it 1, 2, 3. And then we're left with 875 divided by 1,000. Well, we break that apart uh, into prime factors. 555557 five, 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 and 1000 is 2222555. Two, two, five, five. We cancel what we can and we're left with 7 divided by 8. So 7 eighths. Uh, the answer is 7 eighths. So that's how to go from a decimal to a fraction and reduce. Now we'll go over here expressing a fraction as a decimal, going from fraction to decimal, easy. Just do the division, right? So we have 3 divided by 4. When we do the division, we get 0.75. Now let's go over to Excel, because sometimes we can get pretty tricky ones. And again, finding all the prime factors is going to be the trick. Now, uh, we saw how to do this 8, 0.875 to 7 eighths uh, longhand on paper. Um, which will do that similar process for this one. But how do we go just with formatting from one to the other? Well, I'm going to type 8.75 here. And now I'm going to, the, the, the trick is you have to know what the reduced fraction denominator is before you do formatting, right? Control 1 is the keyboard shortcut for format cells. And we're going to go to fraction. Now, it's if you click on fraction and then apply some format here, it'll always um, give you a formatted number, but sometimes it'll be rounded, so it will not be the same number in terms of what you see as the fraction. Because we've already done our analysis and we know that 8 is the denominator, that will work just fine. But what about this one, 0.256? I have no idea. Well, we can go ahead and do our little trick equals 256 divided by 1,000, which remember we did over there. And by the way, all you have to do is slide the decimal, go 1, 2, 3, and that means it would be 256. Well, in the denominator, you can just add three zeros, so then we get like that. Oh, well, that's not going to do us any good. So we have to do a little trick over here where we find all the prime factors um, in the top and bottom, and then cancel the ones we can. So we'll have Excel help us. We just did this a second ago. We'll start with 2. And then our formula will be equals this 256 divided by this. Now, um, I'm going to copy this down here. Remember, we saw how to make a better formula than this, but we'll just leave that here, divide by 0. Uh, we can see that 228 is even, so we'll type a 2 there, enter. Oh, 64 is even, 2, enter. 32 is even, enter. Uh, 16 is uh, 8 is still even. 4 is even. Look at that. 256 is a bunch of 2s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 2s. And that would be uh, in the uh, denominator. So now let's do 1,000. I'm going to do that tricky formula we did just a second ago. If this one right here equals double quotes for blank, that's the logical test. Comma, and what does if the logical test comes out to be true, we want what? Double quote, double quote, which means blank. Otherwise, we want to do our division. Close parentheses. So the if function puts as a logical test, it puts uh, either tr whatever this thing right here, if this comes out to be true, and this thing right here, see it says value false. Whatever that thing is there, if that comes out to be false. I'm going to copy it down. Zoop. Hey, it's all blank. What's the matter? Well, I'm going to type a 2, enter. 500 is even 2. 250 is even 2. 125, ooh. Uh, how about 3? No, no, no. That's a decimal. How about 5? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No, I've got to put 5. Oh, okay. And then 25 divided by 5. So we get 2, 2, 2, 5, 5. Now we can look at this. And I'm just going to highlight these and apply like a color. Control 1. And under uh, fill, I'm going to apply black so I can't see it, just, just for kicks. 
And then right here, since I have three twos here also, I'm going to do the same thing. Right? So I'm left with two, 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 two. So five twos and uh, one, two, three fives. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to um, scroll over here and type denominator, I mean uh, numerator, and that'll be equals product. Pro oops, that's probability. Product. Uh, if I could only type equals product. And I'm going to highlight these. Remember when we were talking about multiplying in chapter one, that's a faster way than times, times, times. And then in the denominator, equals product, if I can only type, OK. And I'm going to get this. Now, wait a second. Look at that. See how uh, uh, we got those two values there? But th we, we don't want to go like this. And we can't highlight like with our mouse like that. But guess what? Look at the screen tip right here. Is It reminds you that if you type a comma like this, you can go and get your next value. So then I can click on that. Hey, that's pretty cool. And then I'll hit Enter. So I got 16 uh, divided by 125. Now I'm going to type equals 16. Oh, I, I, uh, that's not right. I'm going to have to do the same trick here. I'm going to click here in F2. Click my cursor right there, and then it reminds me, because I have to edit this. I forgot a 2, comma. And then I'll do this right here. It helps if you make that noise sometimes. There we go. 32 divided by 25. So now I'm going to say equals 32 divided by 25. Now, there it is. That is the fraction. And guess what we need for the denominator, even though it's a uh, you know big, huge number here. Uh, we're going to have to use 125. So Control-1, go to Number tab, Fraction. I'm going to go down to Custom. And we have two decimals in the denominator, right, 32. So we have to type our custom number format, question mark, question mark, slash, and then type the 125. And there we go. That's how we can display that value in Excel. All right, so that's going from uh, a decimal to a, um, from a decimal to a fraction. And we had to do a lot of uh, legwork here. Now going from a fraction to a decimal is very easy. I'm going to right here just type um, fraction to decimal. We've already done a, a lot of this. Watch this. Um, if I want to do um, 2 divided by 3, by the way, uh, this is a good trick right here. Um, if you type this in, Excel will think it's a date. Remember we talked about formatting as facade in our first couple videos? It, see, it put in the year and everything, so you can't do that. If you really want to put 2 slash 3 in a cell as text, like a label, you got to type an apostrophe, a single apostrophe, and then 2 divided by 3. And that tells Excel that you're tricking Excel. You're saying, forget it. Don't make a date out of it. Please put that. But watch this. We're just going to go equals 2 divided by 3, right? And by the fact that we've typed in this formula, when we hit Enter, by default, Excel shows decimals. So there you go. You do the division. All right, um, we'll see you uh, next video for multiplying and dividing fractions.